It seems I was correct in thinking that last, that noise, whenever I was recording the Quake video, it was the person I was in contact with for the emulators. With Doom, I can actually play it because, or play the actual games, because I have the actual files from Steam. Let's try this one first. I already set everything up. This one, I am wary about. Because whenever I first started it up, it automatically downloaded Doom 2. Which, I don't know where it downloaded it to. If I press any button that's not already configured, B button, Y button, X and Y are mapped, but any other button, except for the trigger buttons, it goes to that screen, which I do not like. This is by, uh, let me get that. That Doom emulator is by Jeffrey Studios. The Touch Doom is by Belco, Beloco Games. And the last Doom emulator is RetroArch. Which, in RetroArch, you, uh, hiccups. You can uh, get it for free, and you need a special WAD file to play any Doom game. You need PR Boom dot WAD from the PR Boom GitHub. No spaces in the name, and with that advertisement on top along with this game when I first ran it downloading doom2.wad I do not trust it I do not think the author did this legitimately and I will upload this and I will point him to this video telling him I don't think he did this legitimately. But it runs smooth. You cannot jump or crouch or anything other than moving and shooting and using a door. Let's see the sound. Now, I would like to point out, though, that sound was also downloaded whenever I first ran this. It downloaded uh, music files, which I do not trust it, so I am never going to play that again, and I will contact the developer of it and tell and ask him. Why does it do this? Why does it download stuff automatically? Let's try 
Doom, the first one. Let's see the sound. Well, obviously there is no music, which I believe was actually in uh, one of the help files. How to get music. Working. Uh, the controls: X to run forward. Uh, A and B do nothing, I think. I don't know. I haven't tried. I haven't been able to use them. B is to use doors and stuff. The shoot button, shoot button is Y, which I cannot aim. Uh, to move around, it is the... D-pad, which I do not like. Uh, strafing is the bumper buttons. And the switch weapons is the trigger buttons. I think I mentioned that the X button is the run button. Not entirely sure, so I'm saying it again. Overall, it's all right. I just don't like having to use the D-pad. Because, in my opinion, the D-pad on the shield can have some work done on it. Runs completely fine. Could do some work. Now touch doom. Automatically shows everything. Hide touch screen. That. That. It registers the trigger button. A. It has a problem with, or it, you have to click the bumper buttons twice for it to register. And you cannot jump, apparently, on this one either. That was my biggest hate with the console version. Let's see the sound. to say ah it suffers from that problem though 
if you have a button that you have not mapped, it will bring that up. But because it registers that you're using a joystick, I guess, it automatically brings down or takes away those the touch screens touch screen controls out of the three I like this one the best in my opinion and I noticed if I can point it out everything like all of this all the surfaces look very nice the ammo that 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 any name looks bad and I'm curious to see the death animation in my opinion out of the three I tried this is the best one but it needs work because you can strafe attack use change your weapons and that's it you can't do any other one. Uh, yeah, I'm not reading that. You know what? Why not? Oh, and because at the time of making this, I have not received the license file, I will have to... Uninstall and reinstall the game every so many plays of the game because it has a license check and because I'm only using it from what he gave me, I have not bought it yet. I will need to either wait for him or uninstall it and buy it. I do not have money right now to buy it though, so I will have to uninstall and reinstall it. Which that is, I don't know if that's a bug, that's just weird. Uh, Doom. Um... Options, general, preferred media player. Okay. Yep, I will have to uninstall and reinstall it. And by doing that, I have to obviously redo this. That's okay though. I don't mind. Next, previous. And that's it. Ah, uh, crap. Yes. But in the menu, I cannot use my, the controls at all. Um, except the back button, that's all that I can use. Back. I'm 
Okay, what exactly does it say? Done. Options, general, preferred media player. Which... Okay. Options, general. That's not what I wanted, you piece of shit. No! Well... This is really taking longer than I expected, so... Sorry about that. I'm not even going to bother because... New game. Let's see how it sounds. Oh, you can use the left analog stick in the menu selection. What I think, let me bring that back up. Quake needs fixed. Quake 3, good job. I like it, it can be tweaked a little bit more. Quake 2, as I've never played it before. Amazing. Doom Touch. Can, it supports the, the NVIDIA Shield fully. This developer is fucking awesome.